Hey traders, it's 34 minutes past 11 a.m. here in Brisbane on Monday, the 11th of March, and I want to do the February trade cuts. And we only had Aussie dollar that didn't eventuate into a proper fight. So let's take a look at what happened and let's see why this one didn't make the cut. So when I've done the fight card video, we were sitting around here the beginning of the month, around the 5th of Feb. And I was mentioning that this area is still buyer's territory. So what I want to see, even though we might push a little bit lower, I wanted to see a pullback. I wanted to see a proper pullback into this green line, into the area around the 65.50 area. And these two weeks, I also drew the Fibonacci retracement on the four hours. So let's just go back there. And I mentioned that this area is what I wanted to see. I also pushed those Fibonacci retracement as the market kept on going lower toward that blue line. And it still sits quite nicely over here. So I wanted to see a bit more of a pullback into that green line now i never got that pull back into the green line we actually got stuck slightly below it and in actual fact there was a nice intraday opportunity just at the break over here but that wasn't part of the fight card the fight card was about a longer term swing trade and it was looking for a deeper pullback now we went lower from here so when we had this pullback it did look nice because we made a lower low on the higher time frame and we pull back into that area into the green level and as we can see here we consolidated above it so we actually made a breakout level this is area that we kept on pressing toward that low but there was one thing here that nagged me and that was that it was also a breakout level from the buyers so we can see that a little bit more clearly on the daily we can see here this is an area that pushed to that lower low and we came back fast so basically the buyers that's sitting here showed me some resolve so when we broke high above here it made sense that they would fight harder to get higher those buyers that were sitting here but it doesn't mean that the sellers have definitely got the upper hand if and when they will break through that level the buyers here showed a lot of strength so I didn't like the way this one consolidated I wanted to see what else do the buyers have I wanted to see how strong the sellers are so if we'll go back to the four hours and have a look at this level once again in details we can see that we actually got a small break over here but this break couldn't even go lower than this previous low right here and as we got this pullback we actually couldn't go any lower so this starts to show build up from the buyers and yes we do get to have those fights so even though this went to a lower low it doesn't necessarily mean that the sellers have the upper hand at this point in time it looks like a fight it looks like a struggle and not necessarily one side taking over the other so for me this was not good enough there wasn't any show of strength by the seller there was a big fight put up by the buyers and i just didn't want to be in between those two heavyweights and little me in the middle ready to get punched from both sides so i left this one alone and as we can see the buyers took over and pushed the price higher so that is the reason why even though some elements materialize in this fight card so we did get that pull back in and around my green line the way the pullback look like so the change of market condition the elements that it showed me around here push this market out and means that this one couldn't make the cut happy knockouts everyone bye for now